Hi everyone, I'm sharing another tidbit of information with you today. It's something I've been looking at for a little while, and since I've got it working to a point where I'm fairly happy with it, I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. With everyone doing video conferencing nowadays, it's been all the more important for us to be able to control our audio devices quickly and conveniently, especially muting and unmuting your microphone, whether it be an inbuilt one, standalone, or a headset. It's particularly useful to save you fumbling around to get back into the video conferencing application you are using for the button or keyboard shortcut to mute and unmute. This shortcut would also be useful for streamers if they happen to get a real life interruption during a stream, such as a phone call or someone in person wanting to speak to them. To save you people having to hear me waffle on too much, without further ado, the commands that control this function in most Linux distributions are these ones. Here. There's two of them, and you'll find them in the video description below. You can use either one of them. Both of these work for me. The first one in particular relies on Pulse Audio being available, which should be the case in most distributions. The second one uses an also mixer command, which may be more of a catch-all in case the first one doesn't work. You can try them both and choose which one you want to use. It should be noted that if you have more than one microphone source, these commands rely on you having already set the one that you want to control as the default in Pulse Audio or Ulsa. Now, those who have heard from me before will know that I am no audio genius. So if you have more complicated setups, such as multiple sources, or use other audio systems such as Jack, that these will be beyond the scope of this video. However, these instructions will work for the majority of Linux users out there. To demonstrate how this works, I've set up my system, which is running i3 in Arco Linux, to display the current microphone setup here in i3 blocks. If you're interested in how I did this, I'll have links to my scripts on GitLab in the show description below. If we first of all open up a terminal, and I'll make it a bit bigger, move it up top, and we run the first command, you'll see the microphone has been muted. And now if we run the command again, it turns back on. The second command, let's try that one. You'll see it's muted again. And if I run it again, and the microphone is back on again. If you still don't believe me, I can open up PAVU control. And go to my input devices. And if you watch my microphone here, which is running through PulseFX. Then I run that command again. You'll see that it's become muted and try the other command and it's unmuted. Let's close out of that. Also, if you're wondering, you're still hearing me because I added the audio back in post-production of this video. I can assure you that it works just fine. So how do I conveniently make use of this? Well, First, let's close out of the terminal. And if I show you my i3 configuration file, and if I can point your attention to this section here for muting the microphone, you'll see that I have bound my mod one key plus M to the particular command that I just showed you. In most of the major desktop environments, such as GNOME, Plasma, or XFCE, you should be able to find a way to create a custom keyboard shortcut, then bind it to one of these commands. If you have a keyboard with multimedia keys, you may even be able to bind it to one of these. For example, on one of my other keyboards, I bound it to what is usually the playback mute button using this key identifier here. And as you can see, it is also bound to the same command. Don't worry about this bind sim exec and no startup ID business, that's just specific to i3. The important bits to know are that the key identifier is XF86 audio mute, if you want to use the playback mute button like I did, and of course the command here. You may also have noticed that I have a key binding down here where I've bound the pause key on my keyboard to a script that I've cleverly named Mike Toggle. I can show you the contents of this script here. As you can see, it's just a bash script with either one of these commands. 
But the additional functionality here is that if I happen to be running a desktop environment where I don't have an obvious way to show the status of my microphone, like I've set up in i3, it will run this command to read the status and then output a notification on your desktop. It does rely on you having a package called libnotify installed in your system, but most distros that I've come across should already have it. To demonstrate, as I repeatedly press the pause key on my keyboard, you will see the notification pop up, reflecting the status of the microphone, as well as the status being shown in my i3 blocks. I've put a link to the script on my GitLab again, it's down below in the show description. Feel free to have a look at it, use it and modify it to your liking. I'm happy to have any feedback on it. And there you have it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. As always, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, leave them down below for me. Be safe and well everyone. Bye bye for now.